just picked up another 2000 Subaru Impreza 2.5 RS, clean title, super high mileage, a uh, little mini rehab, restoration, rebuild that we'll do on this. I think it's 240 something thousand miles. And um, it shows all of them actually. So first, let's look at the front end. We have some JDM clear corners on the side. Got some aftermarket front bumper signals, the rainbow colored, I think they're bug eye fog lights, maybe GC, I don't know. Also have aftermarket clear side markers. Got the JDM grill with an Impreza pink eye badge. I don't know if it's real, probably not. Um, super bent front license plate bracket. Lots of road rash on the bumper. We have a pan under there catching all of the power steering fluid because it's just leaking out everywhere. Uh, wheels have some STI. I think these came on like a legacy. They came on several cars. It's not the P0 or the STI zeros because it doesn't have like the little notches on the spokes. Um, it has the four two pot WRX brakes front and rear. The wheels are in bad shape. I think one of them has to be repaired. I think there's like a little bubble or a little ding on the inside. But we'll get that sorted. Tint has seen better days. Probably just peel off. My favorite part of the whole car is probably the wing. It's actually real. It is genuine. I don't know, version six. That goes up in the back. And right here it flips up a little bit and it is real. It has all the mounting bolts and hardware tabs on it. And it is a JDM trunk as well. It's a sticker and the key doesn't match, which is cool. Hayward and Scott is where the exhaust is from. All the way across the pond. This is where the sadness actually begins and ends. The whole chassis is completely rust free. I looked everywhere, every single spot of this thing. I'll pop the trunk and show you the trouble areas, usually, but not in this car. This was a kind of a bad repair. Um, some filler is cracking. It's actually cracking right along here under the window. So the previous owner thought this would keep water out, but I don't think it is. That's okay. We are missing all the rain gutter on the top of the windows and along the roof. And there is a carbon fiber rear strut tower brace. Cool. And back in here is where you see usually rust. And there is, you can even see, well, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like expand the foam looking stuff there. That's usually where the rust begins, but this quarter panel is perfectly clean. The only repairs I'll have to get back in there and see, but that up there in the darkness, which we cannot even remotely see, is where the repair was done. But the quarter panels are super clean, even down there in the abyss where they fill up with water. is really clean. It's just really filthy. It needs to be cleaned out rust free and a bunch of extras that we'll go through later gdm clear tail lights more tint um this was silver at one point but now it's kind of a uh, a matte silver but it kind of all matches so let's see what's inside i got some goodies here gdm wrx uh, of some sort steering wheel we got the STI seats. You tell me what version they're out of. They're actually in really good shape. The bolsters are just about untouched. Seat belt's in better shape. Cool little um, pad there that's super aggravating and annoying to use. But the driver's side in Japan, the bolstering is actually in really good shape, especially consider these are probably well over 25 years old. Stock back seats. We have the limited number 66 of 500 center console surrounds 
this is definitely aftermarket and um, going to go. Factory cassette player, CD player. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, don't think that'll stay. We have another compass pack, which is great. Unbroken, uncracked, surround, even better. STI gauge cluster. Now this is interesting because the mile per hour is covered up, the kilometer per hour, I'm sorry, is covered up and it actually reads in mile per hour. So somebody had this reprogrammed to the mileage to mile per hour instead of kilometers per hour. That's kind of a bonus. Door cards are actually in really good shape for their age and what I've seen before. Center console, I got a little JDM sticker thing here. And as far as the interior goes, that's about it. A couple little things. I'm pretty happy with it. This is uh, gray around here. I think it came out of some series STI earlier ones because now they're black or the fake carbon fiber and the RSs. Some really dirty STI floor mats. I don't know, aftermarket. Uh, one nice pedal. I think the other ones are somewhere. This thing came with a stack of papers from maintenance and I just kind of tallied it up over the past couple years and there has been over $25,000 in repairs done to this vehicle. It's crazy. I mean, clutch has been done a couple times, head gasket, several smogs, couple of uh, rebuilds of transmission, transmission replacements, clutches, cats, cats been replaced a couple times. Um, different things, not even much aftermarket. There's some short shifter stuff and um, installing the pads and rotors. And but I mean, $25,000 that car wasn't even $25,000 new. Timing belt, water pumps, head gaskets it's wild. I mean, and if you're not going to do your own work, things can get really expensive really quickly on these cars. Now that they're older, too, it's just going to get worse. Not a whole lot of stuff happening under here, just a lot of dirt, grime over the years. We have a super dope water slide intake system. There is a GDM upper front strut bar. Great. Um, dead battery coil rad aftermarket radiator, which is nice. I actually didn't even realize I had it. Good deal. I like those. And it's got some apex upper strut mounts but these are actually bill steen coilovers and they're only about i think he put them on like a couple thousand miles ago so we got a little bit of surface rust but maybe just clean up um yeah bill steen coilovers i think the newer ones are called the b16s they used to be the pss nines other than that she's pretty stock Part of the fun getting these cars, I think I'm on my third RS now, is they always come with at least a trunk and sometimes the interior full of extra parts. So let's see what we got here. It looks like a exhaust system. This is Tsudo, Tsudo I guess is what it's called. It's the um, super grapefruit chute, nice and loud exhaust. Uh, it has a resonator in there, so it's not in bad shape. Um, but I'm sure it's pretty loud. We have some intake pieces that came with it. That's, I like that because they're actually kind of hard to find. I think he said part of it was broken. I'm thinking this rag zip tied to the bottom of this snorkel piece might be the problem. We could probably figure out what goes there and source it. A rear cross member with two links the other side doesn't have it. I don't know. This is that a WRX? I'm not sure why he would have an extra one. Usually the front cross member is what you want because it's the turbo one. If you plan to swap it, I don't know what that is. Uh, so we got a cross member. Great intake. Okay. Some of the fun things up here. 22B hood vents. I don't think these are real. Um, I think the real ones have like round little tab holders here, but for free, I'll definitely take them. And yeah, not the four or $500 ones that are the real ones are going for right now, but they look just about the same. Oh, some kind of, ooh, rear quarter surround seal kit. 
Looks like that's something, I think Roger Clark RCM makes these. Goes around the rear quarter window. I'll see, have to see if this is a complete kit or not, or if it's two sides or one side. Uh, I got extra parts, just some Subaru stuff, and looks like clips, maybe side circuit clips. Some other stuff in there. Oh, these are the uh, window slide pad things for the side windows. Exhaust, hanger, brackets, aftermarket, some more factory stuff, which is cool. I don't know what this rubber dam is, but there's a few of them. Interesting, some door strikers. Random hose clamps. And they can go in a box with the rest of them. These are kind of nice. Bilstein, Bilstein, and teens. I didn't have teens on it, but Bilstein's will come in handy. That's nice to have. Spanner wrenches. Stock tail lights. Right. Oh, this is all the carbon fiber trim. We have the center console part. I don't think any of this was factory. It might be aftermarket. It might be a factory option. I'm sure some of you would love to correct me on that. Shifts around. Which is great that's missing the little plug that holds that there but those are just plastic doesn't look too bad not all beat up and broken great a couple of shift knobs which they're not available anymore so i'm glad i got a few and they're different they are the red stitching ones this is much lighter than this one this one is clearly weighted so that leads me to believe it's either the jdm one that came on i don't know the 22b Maybe some STI variants. Please tell me because I'm probably wrong. This is probably just the RS one. Um, I know there's a company recreating them, I think in the UK. Maybe they're the weighted ones like this. Those are fun. I'll probably clean them up, keep them, see uh, where they go, what they look like. I might be missing one or two. We'll see. Okay. Oh, there's some STI parts here. I think this is the rest of the pedal set. Yeah, STI pedals. More of the pedal covers. I think the one is still in the car. This is the trunk lock that matches the key set. Since it has a JDM trunk and wing, the key doesn't work. So I put this in the trunk. It will work with the key. Factory keyless entry control system probably had some problems with that usually there's not a reason to remove it all unless something's going on so probably not do anything with that these are always broken good thing i have a spare one but yeah they're always broken at this point poor little cubbies a rs steering wheel and airbag it's actually in really good shape surprised for the year must not have been in the car very long it's not all torn up not really any wear marks this is actually pretty good shape i think it would clean up nice oh and that's the best part of the buy is these for the kids they'll probably love them yep number one i think they got some good parts here not a whole lot of gold but definitely a few nuggets and in one more box of goodies there is the original gauge cluster good to have but the mileage probably won't match anymore some euro clear style corner lights and looks like the original factory bumper turn signals which cool like to have those because i don't think they make those anymore this is probably just the box that the clear corners came in a couple more little scores i'll take it i'm pretty happy with the purchase we'll have to see how it goes another project i'm gonna need a bigger garage